the Director of Library Services here at Coastal Pines, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to our new student workshop. This is our president, President Lonnie Roberts, and he's written a welcome message for you if you want to take a couple of minutes to read through it. We have seven convenient locations for you. Our main campus is our Waycross campus, but you can also visit us in Jessup, Golden Isles, Hazelhurst, Camden, Alma, and in Baxley. This is our student college catalog and handbook. You can find it at the URL listed or through the QR code. Library Services is here to help you with all your informational needs. So if you need help with Blackboard, Okta, Password Resets, Research, Tutoring, any of those things, we're here to help you. We have libraries located on our four main campuses in Camden, Golden Isles, Waycross, and in Jessup. And we have learning resource centers in Alma, Baxley, and Hazelhurst. You can also find us online at... Um, at our website and in Blackboard. And we also have 24-7 live chat. The CPTC Bookstore is where you can find all of your textbooks and anything else to help you be successful in your classes. You'll need to know your student ID number as well as have a printed schedule to purchase your books. We have bookstores located in Waycross, Camden, Golden Isles, and in Jessup. Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Roberts. I'm the Executive Director for College Advancement for Coastal Pines Technical College. And basically what that means is uh, marketing and PR fall under uh, the Advancement Department as well as the Foundation. So on the screen you'll see a, a, just a quick little blurb about some of the things that the Foundation does for our students. We fundraise throughout the year to make sure that we have scholarship assistance for students if you need it. You will receive in your student email notifications when the scholarship application is open. So I encourage you to apply for any type of scholarships that you think you may need. Uh, even if you're not sure, please go ahead and apply. But the information will all be sent in your email, but this is just kind of to show you on how to log in. Also on the website is the college calendar. It is under the uh, events page and lots of good stuff is posted there. Uh, different types of events that are going on, deadlines for students, uh, different events will be posted. So I would encourage you to check often the events page on the website. At Coastal Pines Technical College, we do have a dress code. Um, different classrooms and different laboratories have, you know, special dress codes and I would encourage you to talk with your instructors to make sure that you know what that is. Uh, for example, in the welding lab you would um, need special steel tip shoes and stuff like that. But even up and down the hallways and in the classrooms we do have a dress code. Uh, I would encourage you to check it out and uh, see what that is to make sure that you're, you know, um, adhering to the dress code. We are also a tobacco and drug-free campus, so that includes vapes. So make sure that you are not smoking or chewing tobacco or vaping on campus. Um, and also just don't do drugs anywhere. Children on campus. Um, we understand that life happens and that you will occasionally have to bring your child to campus to maybe drop off a form or maybe run in and do something. And we understand those situations come up, but you are not allowed to bring children in the classroom, in laboratories. They cannot sit out in the hall while you're taking class. Um, don't leave them in your car. Uh, any of those things, please uh, refrain from.
Hello, I'm Katie Rutland. I'm the Director of Counseling and Special Services. Um, so student activities on campus, we have lots of student activities that you can get involved with and be able to get to know your fellow students, have some fun, get some swag and some giveaways. Um, we also have several clubs here, SGA Student Government, which allows you to be a part of deciding the types of events that we have on campus, as well as how your student activities funds are spent. Skills USA allows you to compete with other people across the state in your field. It's really fun and it's a great opportunity um, to showcase your knowledge. NTHS is National Technical Honor Society. If that's something that you are eligible for, you will automatically get an email from us inviting you to join. FBLA or PBL is Future Business Leaders of America. And this is a club where you can work on your business and leadership skills. And then we have Horticulture Club, which works with um, gardening and planting. If you're interested in all of those, please reach out to us at specialservices at coastalpines.edu. Not only do we have student activities, but we also have a lot of other services that are available to you for free as Coastal Pines students. Um, we have career services, so this can include things like interview practice, resume help, um, help finding what type of careers you might be interested at or good in. Um, federal work study is jobs on campus that you can be eligible for. Our student navigator is available to you to provide additional resources if you are struggling or um, want to be successful in your classes. So this can include things like tutoring, local community resources, study skills and time management. We also offer multiple workshops throughout the semester um, that can help you hone your skills and be successful. Special populations, um, students who um, come from a variety of different backgrounds like um, disabilities, um, being a single parent, low income, um, homeless or veterans, those types of things um, make you eligible for additional services. So if you fall into any of those categories, we definitely encourage you to reach out for extra help. And then lastly, accommodations. So if you have a physical, mental, or learning disability and you um, have not reached out to us to get additional accommodations, please do so. Um, again, that's special services at coastalpines.edu and we can get you set up with other um, accommodations that can help you be successful in your classes. Um, my name is Carly McDonald and I am the Director of Admissions here at Coastal Pines Technical College. Um, the first thing I'm going to go over is your student ID number that has already been previously mentioned, but just remember that your student ID number is very, very important. Um, it is given to you in your acceptance letter from the college and you are going to need that whenever you are going to the library. Um, discussing financial aid, coming to the admissions office, or um, getting advised, or purchasing in the bookstore. You will need to know your student ID number. Um, financial aid, we do have several scholarship and grant opportunities that are available through um, both federal and state funds. Um, in order to receive those, you will need to complete the FAFSA if you have not done, done so already. Um, our school code is 005511, and it will be the 2023-2024 FAFSA. Um, you will also need to complete the Coastal Pines financial aid packet for the year that is available online and also in our financial aid offices on each of our campuses. Um, if you have any questions, we do have financial aid representatives located at all seven campus locations that can assist you um, that are open from 7.30 to 6. Um, drop add. The official drop period is the first five business days of the term, so that will be since classes started yesterday, Monday, August 21st. Um, the official drop period will be Friday. Um, you, If you would draw from a class or drop a class during this period, you will not be penalized, um, so it pretty much does not count on your record. 
if after this point you drop a class, you will, it may affect your financial aid. So make sure that when you're considering dropping, if you decide to drop um, sometime next week, that you talk with financial aid before you make that decision. Um, you will also be required to complete, if you complete, if you receive financial aid funds and you withdraw before you complete 60% of the semester, which will be two weeks after midterm, um, which I believe is in October, um, you will be required to reimburse the college for that um, money if you do not complete the 60%. Um, you will all, a hold will also be placed on your account, so you will not be able to receive a transcript, um, grades, anything like that, register for another semester if you do not complete um, that 60% and you do receive financial aid um, monies from the college. A formal withdrawal, if you decide to withdraw from all of your classes and um, you um, want to come back a different semester, you do have to do a formal withdrawal from the college. That um, is an electronic form that's available on our website under my CPTC under student electronic forms. And also, it's also available on your OCTA dashboard. Um, if you want to receive a refund, if you decide to withdraw from all of your classes, please remember that you need to do that by this Friday so you will not be penalized. If you decide to withdraw after this Friday, then um, it could affect your financial aid and whether or not you may owe money um, if you decide to come back in the future. Hi, my name is Wesley Sweat. I'm Distance Education Coordinator for Coastal Pines. Uh, here we have Banner Web. For Banner Web, you'll be able to access that information from your Okta. Uh, what it allows you to do is look up your registration and transcripts uh, for your grades and enrollment verification. Uh, anyone in the Student Affairs Department can also help you uh, acquire that information as well. As far as Okta is concerned, signing into Okta will require your CPTC student email address. This information can be found in your acceptance package, and you will notice that it is usually your first letter of your first name attached with your last name. Not all email addresses will have a numerical value behind it, but the more common names will. So in the example here, we have sroberts10 at student.coastalpines.edu. And when you're signing into your Okta account, you want to make sure that you use that as your login. For your password, you'll want to use the CPTC along with your six-digit birth date, which is your month, day, and year. And in the example here, we have July 7th, uh, or excuse me, July the 4th, 2005. So that would be 070405 as your password. Once you log in with your password, you will have to reset that and often establish an MFA, a multi-factor authentication, which is either an email address that it can, a number can be sent to you to verify or a text message, or if you download the Okta Verify uh, app as well. When that happens, please make sure that if you have a change of a cell phone number and you don't have access to uh, gain, if you don't have the ability to gain access to Okta due to that cell phone number change, you will need to contact somebody at the college to help you reset that authentication. And the email address is provided on the screen. Your student email will allow you uh, to contact your professors and to be able to find your course announcements and online information. You can find that in your acceptance letter uh, that you receive upon application. Thank you for following us. Good luck on your 2000 uh, fall semester. And if we can look at the next screen, my Okta page. For students that are able to log into Okta, this is typically what you will see as a landing page. So I just wanted to point out a few things that you will use at a higher rate uh, than other tabs. So 
Once you log into Okta, just like the screen we were discussing before, Banner Web is a location which you can see which courses you're enrolled, the grades for those, and any information regarding uh, your courses. But when it comes to your courses, you will want to access that through your Blackboard tab. If you are taking eCampus courses, you cannot access those through Blackboard. You will see that there is a completely separate tab here for you to do that. Uh, so while we have had some students ac or look to access their eCampus courses in Blackboard, they can find it, but there's no information in it from time to time. You will need to make sure that you go through the proper steps in order to find that course. Well, when it comes to whether the tools you have at your disposal, many students have discovered Many students have let us know that they don't exactly know where to find their email uh, when it comes for Coastal Pines or their student email. When you log into Okta, you have these tools available for you through Office 365. One of them is going to be your email account. So if you're looking to email your instructors or to contact them, you will want to use this upon logging into Okta. But outside of that, one other tool that you probably want to take advantage of is going to be the Office 365. If you're completing work for your course and you need to make a PowerPoint, Excel, or a Word file without having to carry around a USB or save it onto your computer or your Chromebook, you can automatically save your work in that Office 365. And regardless of what computer you log into, whether it be at school, at home, or in the, uh, one of the campus libraries, you can access your work directly from there. It is a great tool to use, and we highly encourage you to do that. If you have trouble logging into Okta, please make sure that you reach out either to Campus Library, they're really adept at helping students get back into Okta, Student Affairs, there's one on every campus, or you can put in a ticket with us at Distance Ed, and that is done here with the Blackboard Help Desk. With the Blackboard Help Desk, you'll need to make sure you include as much information as possible uh, your student ID, email address, and the course CRN that is there. And with the best of your ability, please explain in detail the error that you are encountering so that we can better help you get back into Octo, get back into your courses more quickly. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you. Good luck this semester. Have a good day.